Hello everyone, my name is Nick, and today I decided I'm going to sit down and do some online plant shopping, and I figured, why not take you guys along with me? It's been a long time, I feel like, since I've done a video like this, so I figured it would be kind of fun. So, without further ado, let's work our way over to the computer screen here. I'll still be right here, don't you guys worry. Lit up by my Soltech Solutions Aspect Light, which I will always leave my uh, discount code in the description. and. I feel like I have in the back of my mind somewhere that I do probably want to end up purchasing from because I like to purchase from them every year and I haven't yet so I'll get there but for the meantime I do want to check out a couple stores that I do like to peruse so this first one here is Pistols Nursery which is a nursery out of I believe Portland Oregon and I uh, have ordered plenty of plants from them. Some of my or more interesting plants, like my Anthurium VGI, which we can see right here in their photos. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what kind of plants they have. I feel like I more often buy pottery from Pistols Nursery, but they do have some really cool plants. We'll have to keep this in mind. Although I don't think it's my first order, but we'll see if it still works if I get anything. But I just wanted to check it out. Stefani is pretty cool. I was growing one of these for a little bit of time. I ended up giving it away because it just, I don't think I had the right conditions for it and I figured somebody else might enjoy it a little bit more, but that's still pretty cool that they offer that. Um, let's see here. Oh, I like that they have a different, uh, a couple different kinds of Monstera Adansonia. That's pretty neat. I wonder if you can like pick through it. No, it's still pretty interesting though. I think that they might have a little bit more of a rarer plant section too that you guys might be interested in. See that they have the Peru here for $36 in the four inch pot, not too bad. And the Mikens, I know that that one can be a little bit more hard to find sometimes. I see that they often have some really nice Hoyas. They just have this regular Hoya Carnosa here, which I really enjoy. I have a really big soft spot for the plain green Hoya Carnosa. So I think this is fantastic, but I know some people might not be uh, totally enticed by the plain ones, but ooh, rabbit's foot fern. I really want to successfully grow one of these. I've tried a couple times and they're supposed to be hardier and I have really good luck with some of the other ferns like the blue star fern and the kangaroo paw fern, which grow just like this one as you can see here if I scroll up uh, with these little legs. Let's click on it. I don't know if it'll... You can see right here they have these little legs and I think that's just so interesting. It's such a cool vibe. And I just love the like, just like frilliness, carefree, almost like carrot leaves texture of the rabbit's foot fern. So one day I will successfully grow it. But for right now, we're not, not quite there yet. They have the Alocasia Black Velvet, Hoya Curtisii, Alocasia Silver Dragon, a bunch of popular house plants. Oh, there's the blue star fern that I was talking about. I love the blue star fern. See, oh, an asparagus fern. I really love all these just like very, just like frilly, like no care in the world kind of house plant. Although sometimes they can be a little bit more difficult to care for. Ooh, Tananthi. I love Tananthi uh, Burl Marxii. Really such a beautiful house plant. I had one for a couple of years and it did end up dying after a hard winter that it suffered through. But for right now, I think I want to get a larger six inch pot probably in person. Oh, that's nice. This Peperomia verticillata double duty. I've never heard of this cultivar before. I do grow a couple different types of verticillata in my home. A really nice Peperomia, a little bit more succulent, very easy to grow. I just grow it underneath a grow light and I don't really pay it any mind, but I, I really like the way this one looks. I really like the red underside. You guys know I'm a sucker for that. Two stars based on one review. Rachel, maybe you should have reached out to customer service. Um, let's see, Hoya Wayetii, Hoya Retusa, just some really nice plants, Astrophytums. I know some people have been excited about those lately. Dishidia, oh, I really love that. Oh, looks like they have them in bigger pots as well, or maybe they used to, two inch pot, five inch pot. They only the two inch pots, okay. Still, it's a plant that I like to see. That was one that I rarely got in stock when I was a buyer. Let's see, do they still have the rare house plant section? Air plants and oddities. I'm not sure if this is the section now. Maybe they've changed their website since. House plants for pickup, obviously, <laughs> quite a ways away from Portland. 
but just curious what they have. Probably um, need to restock soon, but let's just look at the planters too. I really like looking at the planters. I know we're plant shopping today, I'm sorry, but I really like um, the Carrie Brunning pottery, which is like uh, this type of planter here, which is where I got some of my inspiration from with the planters that I was making when I was doing pottery. I really, really like these. I'll have to get a couple of them someday. I don't have any plants that need potting up until maybe later in this video if I end up purchasing some, but we'll see. But I won't bore you guys with pottery. I'm very interested in it. But it's really nice that they have this selection right here. Wow. I guess they pick it for you. Okay, I'm getting totally off topic. Um, where else should we check out? Oh, um, let's look on Josh's frogs, which I know they're like more of a amphibian and reptile website, but they do sell plants, and I have gotten some pretty interesting plants from them in the past that I was like surprised that they, oh, actually I'm gonna go back real quick because I think it's cool that they have live plant mounts available. Let's click on that first. Taking a moment to load. Okay, maybe we won't click on that for, oh. Okay, so we're gonna be patient. Okay, here we go. So, that's pretty cool that they are doing this. I will click on one, I promise. Some of them are a little bit more pricey than others, probably depending on how much material goes into the plant. Sometimes that cork bark, cork bark can get kind of pricey, but for example, right here, we have this. Oh, I guess the pictures aren't going to be very big. Oh, here we go. Uh, this Ludicia discolor, for example, that's mounted on, I think it said tree fern. It's, yeah, I think it's mounted on like tree fern bark, which is pretty cool. $28.99, that's a pretty good deal. I'm just going to click on it one more time. I know you can probably go back, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. I tend to mount my plants myself because I made so many mounts back when I worked at the houseplant store that was part of my job, but I don't know. This is, this is interesting, the way that they have some of these plants. Like I noticed they had a syndapsis, they have this Diefenbachia growing on this uh, tree fern material. It's pretty interesting. I wonder, I'm curious about it. I may have to try one out one day. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these today, but I, I do think that these are pretty interesting and perhaps something that Maybe some of you guys might be uh, pretty interested in Mounted Pilea, Purple Ecuador. See, that's so interesting. I'm so much more used to like the mounts that are on the cork bark, which I will go back and click on one, like this Neurogelia right here. I'm a little bit more used to this, so I think it's really cool seeing these other varieties, but um, anyway, let's go back to the, um, let's click on the house plants. Okay, so they have all of the different genuses, genera, I think that's how you say it, uh, of different plants. So for example, you guys know I'm a big fan of Peperomia, so let's click on the Peperomia section just to see uh, what they have. Let's see, Peperomia lalaha trace, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Peperomia argyria. They have a lot of peperomias. It's really nice to see all of these. Some of them are ones that I'm sure in many areas of the United States are a little bit more difficult to come by. I do live in an area that has that grower Gary with the blue tags, and he always has so many different peperomia. So I do have access to many of these, but some of them, you know, like this Peperomia Isabella, which looks very similar to Peperomia Hoffmannii. Maybe it's a different name for it. I see there's zero available, but I'm just pulling it up for example. This is one that I don't have access to readily, and I really, really enjoy this type of Peperomia. And it's one that strikes me as probably costing a little bit more than $9.99 for most other retailers. So I really enjoy Josh's Frogs for that reason. Peperomia Fagerlindii. Almost sounds like a dirty word, or more of a mean word, but um, this is gorgeous. It reminds me more of a Peperomia persiliata. Absolutely gorgeous, once again, zero in stock, but you can sign up for um, notifications when they have certain plants in stock, and they do tend to restock pretty quickly. I feel like normally when I 
do sign up for an email. I get the email too quickly, and then I'm like, I don't feel like buying it right now. Pepperoni and Kana, always love to see that one. You guys know that's one of my favorite houseplants. Not only just favorite pepperoni, but favorite houseplants. Wow, they have so many pictures. Oh, it's really such a beautiful houseplant. You can really see up close here, the fuzziness of the houseplant sands all of the cat hair and dust that would be if I was showing you one of the ones in my home. So yeah, once again, zero available, but um, they do have some like this Peperomia la, la, la ha trace, la ha 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 trace. Uh, pretty interesting, kind of reminds me of like a Trinervus. I tried growing this one a couple times in my home. I think it seems to be more of a terrarium variety, but they have eight available if you guys are interested. Let's check out a couple more. I feel like after this website, I'm probably gonna move over to the website that I'm probably gonna end up purchasing some, some things from and actually filling up a cart because I see I've been filming for 15 minutes now, I'm sure. I edited some of this out, but let's see what they have in the Monstera section. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you guys are interested in that. Uh, this is the place where I got, I believe, my first Monstera Silta Pecana, and still they're only $14.99. I feel like at the time, which was probably like two or three years ago at this point, they were like $9.99, so only a $5 increase is uh, acceptable, more than acceptable with the way that this house plant market has moved. But yeah, I got like two vines of Monstera Silta Pecana. They were gorgeous. They looked exactly like this, probably a little bit longer for the price. So yeah, I'm a really big fan of Josh's Frogs. I, like I said, oh, thanks for checking out our site. Is there anything we can help you with? You're connected with a real person. Oh, you don't need to help me out with anything, but that's very sweet of you. See, they're here to help you. Oh, Apicia, Makotis Patola. Wow, these are definitely plants that people are probably really interested in. I feel like my internet is probably the reason why it's taking so long to load. I didn't really splurge on my internet when I moved here and I'm connecting more and more devices to it by the day. But yeah, some really cool plants. It's really nice to see that they have them. I guess, like I said, you gotta sign up. You can click on this thing right here. So I have to get notified when this product is back in stock and you'll get an email. And yeah, I don't feel like this is a very, uh, I mean, I'm sure it's popular enough, but I don't feel like this is as popular of a website as some of the other ones where the house plants go out of stock in like 30 seconds if you're not quick enough uh, after getting a notification. So. Okay, so from here, I feel like I should look at more on this website. I feel like I, I don't want to cut this short. Let's look at, let's look at two more uh, genera before we move away because I do feel like I, I am moving away a little bit prematurely. Let's see. Vines. That's fun. That's a very broad, that's not even a genera or genus, but that seems like a fun category to look at. Alrighty, we might see a couple from before, since I'm sure there'll be some Peperomias included in here. But yeah, it's just so nice to see that they have all, if you're looking for a bunch of different vines, you can just find them all in one section. And they really do have a really nice variety. And the thing I like most about Josh's Frogs is that they sell their plants in very small quantities and they cost a very low price. Because of that, I'm sure there are some more that are probably worth a little bit more money like I'm noticing that these uh, Mark Gravias are a little bit higher in price, so they must be worth a little bit more money. But uh, many of these houseplants that some other websites are probably nickel and diming for you, uh, they are not doing that here. So I really appreciate that. Oh, this is one that I know people might be pretty interested in. Uh, Pippinum amplicinum, just another type of like pothos relative, kind of strikes me as like a Philodendron hostatum, but I know everyone loves their epipronums. See, Raphidophora Hong Kongensis. This is pretty interesting. Kind of gives me like a Raphidophora hay eye vibe. A little bit more thicker though. Yeah, some really cool plants on this website. I'm glad we clicked on the vine section before leaving. I will click on one more though. I will hold uh, true to my promise. Syngonium erythrophyllum, still pretty pricey, $54.99. I know that that is a plant that in the last uh, year or two has really kind of gone up in price, which admittedly surprises me because it's just like a pothos. I feel like it's the equivalent of like the Cebu blue pothos of the Syngonium world. So in due time, I'm sure it'll be cheaper as it is just such an easy and quick houseplant to grow. I just don't see it 
holding a high price tag for that long. Hoya Panchoai. It's cool to see that they have Hoyas on here. I wasn't really expecting. I don't think they probably have too many, but yeah, it's really nice to see. I like that they include the pictures of the mother plant that they're probably propagating it from. Another Raphidophora, Pachyphila. Syngonia Marei, that's a cool one. And I mean, these prices aren't necessarily low for some of these more collector houseplants, let's say, but um, I still think it's very acceptable. And I feel like, like I was saying, you probably have an, a better chance of purchasing it on this website than some of these other websites that just go out of stock so quickly. All right, let's peep the side list here. Let's check out, let's check out the Calathea. Little baby Calatheas, oh that's fun. They have this Calathea uh, Lepardina. I remember seeing this for the first time in the United States at the Philadelphia Flower Show, which happened recently this year. So I'm sure that this has been available by plugs in the United States for probably about a year now or so. I don't really know, I'm just guessing, speculating, but it's nice to see this one. They have 29 available, 4.99, it's a really, really good deal. And it's nice that they have some of these other ones like Calathea Vitata, Pinstripe, Ornata, some of the ones that people might be a little bit more interested in, Orbifolia. They're definitely not wasting their time with their Calatheas here. So I'm really happy to see some of these offered really, really inexpensively. And these Calatheas, they definitely have a lot in stock. Okay, but now we've been filming for 20 minutes. So we've got an extra five minutes in with Josh's frogs. So we're gonna go over to the website where I think we're probably gonna end up purchasing a couple plants from. And that is Glass Houseworks. So I think I did an online shopping video on this website last year. And I have for the past couple of years, oh my God, I totally forgot. I made a cocktail for this video and I've been filming for 20 minutes not drinking it. Oh my gosh, I will get back to Glass Houseworks in a second, but I need a sip of my cocktail. Um, I am drinking today, I'm living my uh, best Carrie Bradshaw life and drinking a Cosmopolitan. However, I am sacrilegiously drinking it out of a rocks glass because I'm drinking more of an 80s recipe of a Cosmopolitan. According to uh, the internet, I don't know how accurate that is, but if you're curious, it is more of one that is more of a long cocktail. I would be surprised if you serve this one in a martini glass, which you are more than welcome to do by all means, but I just think it sits better sipping it like a margarita per se, um, but it is uh, two ounces of vodka, one ounce of Cointreau, one ounce of cranberry juice, and one ounce of fresh lime juice shaken and poured over ice, which is now diluted probably a little bit more because we've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I left the window open in my room. So it's probably a little loud outside, but okay. Okay, making up for lost time, okay. So, we're gonna check out, mm, okay, we're gonna check out the tropical and houseplant sections first, but we are gonna check out the succulent section. This is probably gonna be a long video, but that's okay. So, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I feel pretty confident, I'm just saying right here, I know We've been in this video, we've been doing this together for a decent amount of time now, but I feel like this is this is the part of the video where things get real. This is the second half of Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. This is where things just really pick up and become a little bit more intense. So I think we're gonna actually skip ahead. We're still gonna stay in A, don't worry. Still gonna stay in A, but I wanna check out the Aglian Namas. So let's see if we can, uh, okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go back one page. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Ashkenanthus, oh, we, we don't need any of those, okay. So, ooh, Agliomorpha. We're getting sidetracked, okay. So, here we are, at the very beginning. So we have a couple of different Aglian names here. And now I need to say a couple things before we get too knee deep in this website. So their pictures are not that great. You gotta trust, you gotta trust. This is a real place, you gotta trust. I've ordered from them a couple times now and I'm very happy with the plants that I've received from them. 
Uh, they do sell them in rather small pots. I think they normally come in just a little two inch pot and they're usually pretty small plants to start. Um, 90% of the time I'm happy with the size of the plants. So um, right off the bat, I am pretty interested in, um, I mean, I love this look of this Aglaenema Manila World, but it does look very similar to Aglaenema Stripes, which I'm obsessed with, but I would prefer to get like a larger one for my home. Although it is pretty gorgeous. Let's, look, let's click on it. It is pretty gorgeous. But $25. For just one little piece of that, I think I'm gonna pass. However, call me crazy. Call me whatever you want, really. But uh, I think this is really cool. The Aglianema Modestum. I've uh, seen this one a couple times on this website and I've never gone ahead and purchased it. And I think it's just really cool how it looks like a peacefully meets an Aglianema. And I don't successfully grow peacefully. No, I don't successfully grow peace lilies in my home, uh, but I successfully grow aglianemas. So also aglianemas are commonly called Chinese evergreens. I don't think I've said that yet, but we're gonna put one of these in the cart because it's cool in my opinion. And aglianemas can practically grow anywhere in your apartment as long as they're in a room with a window. So let's give that one a go. I would also like to try the variegated one eventually, um, but that one's, I think, a little bit more hard to find. I mean, anything variegated these days, I usually don't get my hopes up of getting my hands on it. I got the Tricolor Echo from them last year. I don't remember it looking entirely like this. It looks a little bit more like this photo right here. Yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. Um, it still has a leaf. I'm not professionally growing this ugly name, but let's put it that way. Um, but, oh, I see. I feel like it's this in the photo. I'm like, I was thinking it was this when I was looking at the plant, but it's this. Like I said, <laughs> their photo skills, I mean, they're, I'm sure they're great at taking photos. It's just some of these photos on the website are not the most um, uh, forthright. Is that the word I'm looking for? Anyway, um, let's also check out, while well, scroll through the alocasia slowly, you guys can obviously be pulling up this website yourself if you're interested and be looking, I will link all three of these websites that we're looking at today below. Okay, I am gonna skip ahead now because I just wanna check out what kind of aspidistras they have because I like the idea of getting like a super small aspidistra, which the common name for those are cast iron plants and they tend to be very expensive uh, at the store. So let's check it out. Oh, that's kind of cool, Aeroids, a tropical collection, five plants, and they send you five plants for $28 of their choice, which would be fun, fun. I don't think they would, I don't think that's like a lottery thing where maybe you get something that's worth $150. I, I'm very doubtful, but I'm sure that's still a great way to get a little airboard collection started if you're interested. Okay, so here we are at the Aspidistras. So first and foremost, we have just the plain Aspidistra a lady or just a plain green one it looks like. And it's $7. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. Um, when I was purchasing cast iron plants wholesale, wholesale, keep in mind, for uh, the plant store, they were only ever offered in 10 inch pots, at least from the people I was buying from. I guess a couple times I got them in eight inch pots, but they were like so small, they weren't even worth it. Uh, but the 10 inch pots would always be like minimum 48, like $50 wholesale. So keep in mind, if your markup's like two and a half, that's like $120 right there. So it's a lot of money to sell a plant for. So $7 sounds much more palatable to me, but they do have a couple other types. Mature leaf tips on this one become frost. So that's pretty cool. The only thing is I don't feel confident you're gonna get a mature plant from this website just from my past experience. So I don't think I would myself go for that. Still pretty cool though, especially if you're a collector. Definitely really cool. And this one, the Elidier Ginja, Ginja, looks exactly like the one that I already have in my home. And that's probably it. It's the one that's always sold as Milky Way, or maybe I do have a Milky Way. I don't know, but I've always heard the tea that apparently the one that's on the market that's a Milky Way is not actually a Milky Way. Alrighty, so where do we wanna go from here? Is there anything else in A that I wanna check out? I'm probably forgetting something, but in my mind, 
I want to move somewhere that you guys are probably going to be much more interested in. So let's go check out the Monstera selection. Oh, Marantas. Just some plain Marantas. Nothing wild. Nothing you can't get at your houseplant stores. Maxillaria, Tenifolia, the Coconut Orchid. All right, so here we go. Monstera Ecacousquensis. I, I think I actually grow that in my home. I think I might have gotten that from the Potted Elephant, which also love them. We'll have to do a separate video checking them out someday. Uh, so let's see what else they have. Monster Deliciosa. Everything's probably going to be out of stock. Any of these variegated ones are... I don't even... I don't even... I've, I've never seen them in stock. But um, they do have some other varieties. A couple of the Adansoni eyes. Um, these are just a couple different varieties right here. Saltipacana, silver leaf. Oh, it's the boo blue. Stan Lanaya, Layana. Sorry. Oh, well, that's it. Okay. Um, well, that was pretty underwhelming. Let's go check out the philodendrons then. Actually, we're going to check out the peperomias first because they come first in the alphabet. And I feel way more likely to buy a peperomia. Then I will be probably one of their philodendrons. Just, but we'll see. Maybe I will. I bought. I've bought plenty of philodendrons from this place in the past. It's just with the availability these days. You know what I mean. So, um, Peperomia cuminata. That's pretty interesting. It looks very similar to my Peperomia viridis. So I'm not going to be springing on that one. Uh, there is one that I'm very interested in. If they do have it in stock, Peperomia campylotropa. This is a pretty cool one. I've never grown this one myself, but I like the way it looks like a mounding Pilea peperomioides. So I'm gonna throw it in the cart. We might not get it. We'll assess at the end. We'll assess together, don't worry. I'm not gonna leave you guys out of that. A couple Caparatas, Clusia folias. Columella, that's cool. Um, well, that's cool. I was growing this one for a while. I got a cutting or a couple pieces of it from my friend Linda and it was growing really well for me, but then um, I moved here and it didn't seem to really like the conditions here. So it kind of died back for me and I'm pretty sure I actually ended up getting rid of it recently because it was just like rotting away. And yeah, so we'll consider it, but you know, I might wanna make way for something else a little bit more new. Crassicollis, false philodendron, Similar to Scandens. A little too similar to Scandens for me. Galioides, that's a cool one. I know it's out of stock, but it's still, oh, whoa, well, amazing pictures. Um, this is pretty cool though. It gives me like a uh, dollar performus uh, meets Kim Nachi eye vibes. Pretty neat. I'm so sorry how much you hear this. I need to get a mouse pad. So hopefully it's not too bad. Um, this one, I ordered this one in the past and it looks really cool, but this is one of the ones that came in extremely small that there was just no way I was even going to be able to remotely grow it. But these leaves are really, really cool. Like I was really interested in trying it out, but, um, probably just didn't ship very well. But that, those are pretty cool leaves. I'm like, wow, I want to try it again. But for $10, knowing that I might just get something I'm not going to be happy with. I think we're going to pass on that for right now. Um, Peperomia hirta. Hirta. Kind of cool. Looks like a fuzzy verticillata. I'll consider it. Horace Anderson. See, this is an interesting one. Like, I've never seen anything like this before. It looks kind of like a Peperomia uh, trinervula, but with red backs. It's a little wild and untamable, which part of me likes. Part of me thinks it might not look amazing in the home, but peppermint at jungle red. This kind of rubs me the way of the uh, verticillata red log, which maybe it is. And I've been kind of wanting to grow that one for a while. And this is $3.75. So for the price of a cup of coffee, I could have a peppermint jungle red. Oh, this is cool. Peperomia Kuwanka Banba, species Peru. Once again, these pictures are... We, I should be reading the descriptions. I should, I should have been doing this because I know this. I should have known this going into the web, this website that 
The way to succeed on glass houseworks is to rely on the descriptions more than the photos. Uh, upright, stoutly succulent stems studded with multitudes of basil green slim leaves to resemble a petite bottle brush, but soon self-branching into an impressive clump of rich foliage, which as soon as exposed to sun turns to a rich violet cayenne color of some intensity. It's like poetry. It's music to the ears. This undemanding, unnamed native I'm sold. I'm sold. I don't need to read anymore. You can read more. You can pause and read more if you're interested. Uh, Peppermint Maculosa. Isn't that one that people are like freaking out sometimes? I feel like people always comment every time. I'm like, Peppermints are so cheap. They're like, um, Peppermint Maculosa isn't, but for $20, if you catch it at the right time, or if you add it to your wish list on uh, Glass Houseworks, it could be yours. <laughs> Expect damage no matter how well we pack. I appreciate that. I appreciate them being very upfront. Pepperoni Moonset. I grow that one in my home. Let's click on it. Let's see how I think it compares. Yeah, it looks like that. It, it reminded me of Encana, but green. And we talked about Encana earlier in this video. So, yeah, big fan. I'm like, I could, I could use another one and make make it into two. We'll, we'll assess. We'll assess at the end, like I was saying. I feel like, however, I should be just adding all of these things into my cart and then assessing at the end. Uh, so we are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do that, LOL. Um, we'll add in the Herta as well. Just because. It was like $3. So like, why not? Okay, so I think we're down here. Polybotria, Padulata, Graving, Clone, Sarcolociana. Oh, okay, so I grew this one. I got this one probably on my first order ever from Glass Houseworks. And like, I'm obsessed with it. Like, it's so cool. Like, it looks like this. It looks like that. And I want it. I'm getting two of them. That's how much, it's $5. I grew it for like a year and a half successfully. Then it pooped out on me. Sometimes it happens. A lot of the plants that they have on this website, you also need to keep in mind that some of these are not common for a good reason. It's because they're very difficult to grow and they've been growing them in their greenhouse setting for probably some time. So just bearing that in mind, but I'm gonna try to learn from my mistakes. I am gonna plant up the two together. Okay, so we ended up, we finished Peperomia. Okay, so we're at the philodendron, which like I was saying, they do have a lot of philodendron, but as we're gonna scroll through, they're probably all gonna be out of stock. <laughs> Except for the philodendron burl marks, which I have right next to me here, which I can't pull over far enough without breaking a leaf off, but it, it's sitting right next to me. But they do have some really cool varieties, it's just, they're not in stock. Um, I got the domesticum from them, I, I think also the first year I ordered from them, which I still have. It was $5 back then, so it's gone up $10, which it's still worth it, in my opinion. However, I'm not gonna buy another one. Uh, this is pretty cool though, I wanna click on this. This reminds me of like an Anthurium vici, but it looks like a philodendron, because it probably is a philodendron, because it's in the philodendron section. It's really cool. Totally gives me Anthurium vici vibes. If it was in stock, which it probably hasn't been in stock for a long time. And when it is back in stock, the price might go up. <gasps> okay, so I got one of these and I loved it. I still have it. I'm looking at it right now. And I love it so much. I feel like it, I feel like it hasn't been doing that. Like, it's not been doing bad, but it hasn't been doing great. Like, I, I don't know. And part of me is like, assess. We'll just assess at the end. That's what I keep telling myself. Um, I believe this is, oh, here we go. Also known as tripartitum, there we go. Um, so yeah, $18 for that. It seems like a really good deal. And part of me is like, well, I'm just gonna get it anyway. And then like, if you don't want it, like you can give it to a friend, but like, I know I'm gonna want it. So, yeah. But um, Heteracea inconsinum. This is one I've never heard of before. Um, large boat shaped decorative leaves blushed beneath in highlight, thick succulent mid ribs accent, dull glossy fleshy leaves overlapping shingle like on a very thick stemmed clambering vine. Like I said, poetry. Um. 
That looks very similar to the, um, what is it? Phil Dungeon Subhastatum that I have, which is very seldom available in the train for $8. We'll assess. Uh, Pandora Form, Nurse Noodles, Prince of Orange. This is pretty cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure I grow this or very something very similar in my home. Let's read the... A South Brazilian in the Bipinoflame complex presenting many glossy violin-shaped out-facing leaves with long basal lobes, slim middle, and flaring wings above. Above all? Is that it? Above all? No, I'm just gonna stop because I don't know where this is going, but um, no, I'm not gonna get this one because I already grew the pipe and a full in my home and I love it, but I'm not obsessed where I feel like getting a cousin. Um, but I believe that's where this is going to end up, the Phil Dungeons. This is the Pileas, oh! I feel like I first found this website back during the, um, Pilea Peperomioides craze because I saw that they had Pilea Peperomioides on their website. It wasn't in stock at the time, but they had it and nowhere else had it in stock. Or, I mean, it wasn't in stock, but they had it on their website, so it just felt promising to me. I picked up one of these Pilea numera, Numularia folias for uh, one of my neighbors and seeing it in her apartment, I'm like totally obsessed with it. And part of me is like, I want it, but I've, I would get it locally probably, but I really love these Pilea um, grandifolias. I get mine from Steve's Leaves and they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, what else do we check out? Pipers. Um, what else should we check out? What should we look at? I don't know. I do want to look at the Hoyas. So we're gonna go over to the succulent section because I'm pretty sure that's where the Hoyas are. Not feeling too confident they're gonna have a ton in stock, but I'm sure they'll have uh, an availability or a variety to look at more so. So Hoya Bilobata, Cardinosa Compacta, Dappled Gray, that's a cool one. Once again, I know it's out of stock, but I'm into it. Hoya Kamingiana for $8.50. It's not a bad deal. I grow that one in my home already and it hasn't been flourishing for me. It hasn't been doing bad. I got my Hoya Fungi from the last year. I think it was last year. And I really like this plant, but I'm <laughs> having the dickens of a time growing it. Gotta learn the secrets. Yeah, not too many. Um, available Hoya MacGillivray. I know they grow this one at Longwood Gardens, which is the local botanical garden here to me in Philadelphia. And you can see the flowers on it at the plant there, on the plant there, and they are really this big. But it's pretty high up as the plant is uh, grabbing onto all the other plants in the vicinity around it. But for forty-five dollars, no. Hoya Abavada, Hoya Pink Silver. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting any Hoyas today. Let's look at the Sansevierias. Or Dracaenas if you're a diehard, but they're still in here as Sansevieria. Um, oh gosh, I feel like none of these are gonna <laughs> mean anything to me. Like, I mean, they mean a lot to me um, sentimentally, but they all just kind of look the same. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna end up getting any um, Sansevierias, but just to scroll through and see the variety. I wonder if they have that Pinguicula. Oh, this is a pretty interesting one. Well, that one's 25. So let's go back to the one that's 575. It looks like a Trifasciata, but it's like thinner. <laughs> like it looks like a Trifasciata after, or like a Zelanica Trifasciata, after you've had it like sitting in a dark corner for like three years and it's putting off all of these funky leaves. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. For $5.75, it's basically free, you guys. 
we'll assess. Oh my god, they have, whoa, $50 pinguicula. I was talking about this in a recent video because it's like the walking Sansevieria. It's so cool. It literally like walks out of the pot. Let's see if it says anything along the lines there. No, it doesn't. Although that's a very interesting description, which I will let you guys <laughs> read on your own time. I think one might be good enough. Although these are, <laughs> like, what even is that? That's so cool. It's like, there's gotta be like some way that they tell all of these apart, probably the flowers, but a lot of these, <laughs> If I walked into the snake plant section of the store, it wouldn't be like walking into the peperomia section of the store. Let's put it that way. But they, they are really, really cool plants. I'm not trying to knock them down a peg, but I want to meet someone who collects <laughs> Sansevierias the way we collect Hoyas and peperomias. More so, I want to see their home. I'm interested to see a home with like 100 Sansevieria. It must be very architectural. <laughs> Could be pretty cool though. All right, so um, let's see where we're at right now. <laughs> 12 items, less than $100 though. That's not too bad. Wait, I'm gonna click on the card though. Take me. We're gonna assess. We might go back and look a little bit more, but we've been doing this for a while now. And I don't want you guys to get bored. Let's see, okay, okay, okay. Okay, wow, I want all of it. You know what? Assessing. Assessing. We don't need another moon set. We're fine with our one moon set. Let's chill with the one moon set. We still want, I definitely want the two silver bandits. I definitely want this Kuanka Bonba because the name alone. Pepperoni Jungle Bread, $3.75. Why wouldn't we? Um, I do want the Aglianema. I'm like, I'm all about like Aglianemas that you just like can't walk into the house plant stores and find. And $15, like that's what a four inch pot of an Aglianema will cost at a regular house plant store. So I'm cool with that. The little Aspidistra I think is super fun. I can put it anywhere. I could literally put it anywhere, but that's the thing. Where would I put it? So now I'm entering a different section of this video where I'm realizing I need to make sure I have space for all of these. So, with that being said, um, we're gonna get rid of the Campylotropa. Just knocking all these pepperomias out. It was so exciting putting some of these in. Um, 74, we went down like, $15 from getting rid of all those house plants. I'm like kind of cool with this. Part of me is like, don't you get that Fensley eye? You've already been growing it. But part of me is like, just get it and pot them all up together and live your best life. However, you know, $18 would definitely bring us down lower. But you know what? You know what? I feel like I'm feeling the Fensley eye more than I'm feeling this Inconcenum, which just you know, really isn't selling me. Large boat-shaped decorative leaves blushed beneath in high light, in high light. <sighs> Do you feel this indecision right now? Do you guys feel my Libra energy just seeping through the camera lens? I don't know. It's not about the price at this point. It's about the space and I don't have the space for it. I feel like the Sansevieria, not concerned. The Aspidistra, not concerned. The Aglinema, not concerned. The three Peperomias, could I shove them into my bedroom shelves underneath the girl light for at least the beginning of their lifespan to get them going? 100%. The Philodendron Fenslii slash Tripartitum. Oh, I'm seeing this here, Syngonium aretum. We're gonna have to check out the Syngoniums before we, oh no. 
want, oh my gosh. I don't want to look. There's so many other genera of plants that we're totally forgetting about. Syndapsis. Oh, Shiflera. I got my Dazzle from them last year. <laughs> it's still basically the same size as uh, when I got it last year. Syndapsis uh, looks like the Trubii. They call it Siamese. Let's go to the end here. Okay. We're gonna go back one page. We've arrived, okay. Just kidding, it's Bathophyllum. LOL, looks very similar. Okay, so wow. So they have Syngonium Aretum for $35, but Syngonium Erythrophyllum for $12, which, funny. Um, mm, you guys might wanna notice that they have these Syngonium Podophyllum Albovarigatums in stock. Is be prepared to wait two to four months for delivery depending on propagation. Um, yeah, so this website, I feel like I have neglected to say so far. They do take probably like a long time to ship you the plants. A lot of the times that's because, not because they're lazy whatsoever, because they're not, but that a lot of these plants are propagate to order. So some of these things that you um, might order they will have to root before they send it to you. Some of the things they are cool with sending as unrooted cuttings, like some of the Hoyas. Uh, however, a lot of these things, they might have to root for you. So that's why it might take some time. I'd say last year, it did take like 10 weeks. I feel like I did end up re sending them an email after like 10 weeks being like, just wanna check in. But um, the plants always come. So you have to be really, really patient, but don't order anything you're like dying for, but like, that's the kind of the fun about going on this website is you just like kind of find some things that you're interested in. They're like, I could grow that like two months from now. Sometimes they ship earlier. I've had, I've known people order stuff and sometimes they have it all in stock, uh, which is like another reason why I'm like, maybe I should get rid of a couple things <laughs> to increase the chance of it taking less time to ship out. But I'm like, I don't want that philodendron. I don't. You guys can have it. If any of you are like, I want it. There's one more in stock for you guys. But I am gonna take, uh, I know I don't need it. This is me knowing I don't need it. I'm getting it anyway. I'm getting it anyway. I'm getting it anyway. Okay, 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 okay. Let's estimate the shipping. I feel like it's usually between like 15 and $20, so, but it can like go up if you order too many things. So let's just make sure that it's still, you know, oh, I don't wanna show you guys my postcode. Hold on one second. Almost got me there. Okay, so it would be 1750, very acceptable, between the 15 and $20 that I was expecting. So yeah, more than acceptable. So for $83.75, we're getting all these wonderful house plants. Think about if you're gonna go to your local house plant store and buy a pink princess philodendron these days, you'd be spending minimum $83.75, probably double that. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm really excited. I still gotta place this order, of course. I have had once or twice this website reach out and say, hey, I'm really sorry, one of the things you order is out of stock, in which case it's like, whatever. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about these. I will, of course, film an unboxing video when they come. I wouldn't expect it to be anytime soon, um, but yeah. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me today for this house pen shopping adventure. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.